Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your August 2015 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month we're going to try something a little different. A viewer reached out and asked if I would start incorporating a color card with the monthlies as well so we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a try. <laughs> Why not? Alright, so the deck that I think I'm going to use for this month will be the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue and then of course we will be pulling color cards from the Secret Language of Color Oracle Card deck by Anna Seagal. And if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services page. Please pay attention to the wait time as it will be fluctuating. And also please follow the instructions. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. So let's get to it. Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for August 2015. I've been telling the other signs I have gotten the pay attention card. Uh, just about in every single sign and um, I'm a little over half done right now so I, I think sometimes through these like sign readings uh, there's kind of an over overreaching kind of message an umbrella message and I think this has something to do with the worldwide stage I think there's more social change to come I think this could oops got got a card that flopped out. Um, this could also be just something beyond your control but is also affecting you. The big message that they're giving us is to just pay attention to the next step guidance that they're giving you. Okay. Nothing to freak out about. So don't, don't give over to the worry and the fear that maybe other people... It's not scary. It's not something scary. It's like a, ugh, you kidding me with this? You know, like, is that really going to happen now? <laughs> And maybe it affects taxes or something like that. Who knows? But um, it could also be really beautiful in that it could be social change as well. All right. So the first card, you guys did not get the pay attention card. Yay. Okay. So fine. So now they're making it a little more interesting. <laughs> giving us different cards. All right. So watch your thoughts is the first card. It says it's important to think only about what you desire, not what you fear. I know. It, you know, it, worrying about the future, trying, feeling the emotional pull of what might happen, oh no, oh no, and trying to sort of squash that by over planning things or having a plan B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, like they calm down, <laughs> it's all good. Watch your thoughts because when you're pushing and you're planning for a disaster, a disaster will come, okay? So does that mean you're never prepped for anything? No, but don't be excessive about it okay and like what you see in the mirror too because that's another message that comes along with this card um don't be so hard on yourselves don't be so hard on yourselves this is all about yeah not pulling the energy down this is a running theme right like in life <laughs> Always keep it joyful. Always keep the energy up. Be in a high vibration. But for you guys this month especially, I think um, it's an important reminder. Now, again, this is not to invoke fear in you. I don't think you're going to have a bad month. You're going to have a great month. It's more stuff happening outside of you that, you know what it is. It feels like the world starts shifting and changing. And it's just an uneasiness with, with change. And it's not like it's bad stuff that's happening. It's just you have to adjust. And there's always that moment of, this feels uncomfortable. I don't know about this kind of thing. All right. So the next card we have is set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. And this is in, yes, okay, so fine. It could be on a superficial level. Yes, you want to get a better job cool. Uh, yes, you want to get into a kind of relationship where you're loved and appreciated. That's awesome. Um, but look at what's going on. I don't know if you can see it. She's reaching for a Merkaba. That's the light body around you. And this artist has chosen to paint it in rainbow colors, like the rainbow body. So we are all right now trying to ascend. We're all trying to get to that place where we reach our rainbow body status. So keep things in perspective and when they say raise your standards that means to me don't don't just settle for what this third dimensional reality is telling you you need to accept you know don't just settle in and accept all the dramas and pain and you know what was me kind of stuff don't let that in reach above go go above 
and beyond and and go towards the thing that you're actually trying to do here in this incarnation which is to grow your soul so that you can ascend okay now here's the next card healing heart you're a powerful healer keep up the great work but I'll tell you the first thing I felt when I saw this was that you need to heal your own heart you take on a lot you feel a lot you're very sensitive right so it's even more important for you and work with Raphael this month around the heart chakra okay it's even more important for you to be taking really good care of that heart chakra that heart space and also the higher heart as well okay so and notice the card is green <laughs> healing heart and there are two characters in here so the healing might come from somebody else from a kind word or uh, sort of working out a situation that maybe you've been hanging on to you get some more information you get a different perspective uh, you start piecing the whole thing together and you realize okay this is where I went wrong this is what was just situational and you know no wonder we thought that whatever it is once you cleanse and clear that away you're lighter you're you know you're gonna get into more positive thinking and now you see the wisdom behind something and you start yeah they're saying tapping into the soul growth instead of just focusing on what's happening on the surface you're going deeper and having some appreciation for everything in the way that it's unfolding all right so here we go getting you all set up for August so towards the end of the month that's what this feels like and I don't typically read these cards like that but this is the message that I have for you we have music for manifesting Archangel Sandalfin angel of music bring them in and we have the moon in here which the moon is very introspective it's um yeah looking within balancing it could be the divine feminine all right but the card says to manifest rapidly think of your desire while you chant hum sing or play music yes and this is also using sound healing to um yeah attunement they're saying they're using the word attunement so use music this month to help you really even out your energy to get clear on your intentions so that then you can manifest properly <laughs> right because so often when we're trying to manifest something from a space of desperation or just we don't know any better right and then you pull in something and you're like oh that's not what I thought it was gonna be take it back you know so you need to get clear on your intentions first so let's get your color card your color card is white lighten up it ain't that serious <laughs> the number is 24 and yeah I mean it kind of goes hand in hand with everything heal that heart let the old hurts go lighten up this month high vibration watch your thoughts don't settle for the gossip don't settle for relationships that tear you down don't settle for lower vibrational things get into the higher vibrations Okay, so there it is, guys. I hope that makes some sense to you. And of course, I am sending you so much love. Have a great month.